G'day guys, it's Googs again and I'm here to talk a bit more about the plebiscite. Uh, sort of an aside to that issue, I've already today discussed um, people who say we should just change it. Uh, uh, one, one thing that I'm seeing now that is, is interesting enough, I think, is that it seems that people have, certain people have had enough of the identity politics in the electorate. Now, if I give you a bit of a, an example, let, let's take another issue. Let's take, um, I don't know, let's, let's take the issue that, excuse me, um, assisted suicide. We're, we're doing a vote on whether or not it should be right to commit suicide. Um, you've got a bad illness. It's, you're going to die from it. You're over the age of, say, 75. And so people are now voting on that issue. And you've got one side that says, yes, of course. These people should have the right of their own violation if they're tired of living to to commit suicide in that case, okay? To to euthanize themselves, if you will. And then you've got the other side who might say, well, no, they don't have the right to that. And you had, say, the, the for the euthanasia side suddenly go, well, if you don't do what we want you to do, in other words, vote for it, we will then... You know, we, we're going to start throwing our weight around. We may even become violent towards you. We'll keep on going until we get the vote and the decision we want. Okay? So they're threatening. And so there was some moderates, for example, on or swing voters between the yes and the no vote. And they're going to hear that kind of rhetoric. And they're going to realise that, hey, that's not democratic. That's not a good thing. So they're going to change their vote. Not necessarily because they agree with the no vote, but simply on the principle that... You know, if you're going to start getting antsy about this and you're not going to accept democracy, well, you can stick it up your ass. And there are people who will do that. Um, this is what we're starting to see now with the plebiscite, which is very interesting. There are a group of people in the demographic uh, who are yes voters, and I, I would suggest that they would be the, the minority fringe of the, the yes voters, who are saying that they're willing to uh, have mass protests, be violent towards people, um, cause those people, if they find out who they are, they're going to dox them, these sorts of things. They're coming out on whether or not they do it, but th this is the language that's happening now on Facebook and Twitter. Okay? And I've seen it myself. I've been threatened with it myself, even though I'm a yes voter, which is incredible to me. And so what you've got there is these undecided people or, or people who are a bit more liberal, libertarian, say, who are voting yes, who are now saying, well, no, stick it up your butt. We don't like this idea. And they're voting no to tell those people, the, this fringe element on the yes vote, we don't like your point of view, we don't like what you stand for, and if you're going to threaten us, we're just going to, you know, we're just going to snub you, up your butt. Now, I don't agree with that, by the way. Um, I'm, I think that you should vote your conscience and what you believe in and not do something to, to bite back at your perceived enemies, uh, political enemies. However... I'm seeing a lot of that. Now, to those people on the fringe of the yes vote, you're no better than the people on the fringe of the no vote. You know, the people who are predicting that if we allow homosexuals to get married, the next thing you know, everybody will be allowed to marry a pig. Or, or 20 women, or 20 men, and, you know, uh, the whole Ghostbusters idea of dogs and cats getting married, it's going to be chaos. They're wrong, okay? Because the majority of society says, no, we just want gay people to the right to choose to be married. That's that's all this is. So a majority of people, that's all it is. But this fringe on the no vote, oh my God, the world's ending. It's apocalypse. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> but the guys on the far yes vote are just as insane. See, they're going, oh, oh, by the way, by the way, you know, if you don't let us have, the gay people have their rights, we're going to kick your ass. Well, I'm sorry. That's not the right way to deal with this issue, too. If you're going to ignore a democratic process, then, you know, you're just as bad as the people on the other side who are ignoring it as well, you know? I, th I think that what we all need to do is take, take a little less notice of the extremes. And I know it's hard to do because the media... Because media loves controversy. That's how they make money, guys. You know, the clickbaity stories. Or, you know, um, you know... Even fake news like Trump on, on a bed with 25 hookers, you know, pissing all over it because Obama slept in it. It's all about controversy. 
That's all it is. And so they're going to look at the extremes because that's going to make them money. Their businesses, their corporations, that's, that's what they want to do. So stop looking at the mass media so much because they're going to hype up the extreme extremities on the no side. They're going to hype up the extremities on the yes side. Vote your own conscience, whatever that is, by the way. It, to me, it doesn't matter what it is as long as you have a, a reasonable argument for your position. And even if you don't, that's fine too. This is, this is liberty, liberty, this is democracy, this is liberalism. Vote your conscience, do your thing. Don't listen to the extremes on either side. Don't listen to the media because they only care about the extremes on either side. One way or another, let's decide what happens here and then let's move forward. I'm Gooks. Please, guys, when it comes time to vote, do uh, vote upon your reasoning. Do vote upon your understanding. And it's always good to go get a little bit more research. Uru.